Hello friends. Most of us know that earthworms are the gardener's best friends. Some people even call earthworms as nature's first gardeners or even robots of garden. In this video we will learn about earthworms in garden, what are worm castings and what is vermicompost and its benefits. And lastly, how much vermicompost to add to your potting mix. Coming up. Firstly, we will know about some concepts of how these earthworms are beneficial in gardening. The concept number one is, we all might have seen farmers plowing the fields. This is done to break up or loosen up the soil, allowing more air and water to get into the seeds and the roots of the plants. Earthworms act like tiny plows when they live in a garden soil. As earthworms move through the soil of a garden, they make tunnels, just like the farmers plowing the fields. These tunnels allow air and water to get into the roots of the plants. Concept number two is about worm castings and vermicomposting. As earthworms in the garden soil eat organic matter like uh, kitchen wastes, dead leaves, grass clippings and so on, after they digest this meal, earthworms produce their potty or the excreta that helps enrich the soil further. This earthworm excreta is called worm castings which helps plants grow because it is rich in phosphorus, calcium, nitrogen and magnesium. This process is called vermicomposting. This process is usually done by red worms and white worms. We will discuss on the details of what is vermicompost and how to do vermicomposting at home and what waste you must add and what you must not add to your compost bin in a separate video. Well, a little more on vermicompost, it is also called as a vermicast or a worm cast or worm humus or worm manure. Vermicompost contains water soluble nutrients and is an excellent nutrient rich organic fertilizer and soil conditioner. So listing out some of the benefits of vermicompost, uh, it improves soil aeration. Then it enriches the soil with beneficial microorganisms, it improves water holding capacity of the soil, then it enhances the overall plant growth and root growth. Now finally, how much vermicompost to mix in your garden soil or how to make the potting mix with vermicompost. In any potting mix formula, whatever is the formula of the mix, you can add about 10 to 30% of vermicompost to the soil for best results. So that's all in today's episode folks if you like the video please give a thumbs up and pass on some comments below the video also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new to the video with the notification bell icon turned on happy gardening